Hello, welcome back to the race coordinator um, race configuration tutorials. This is another part, I believe it's part four, maybe five, um, in the series. Um, again, due to time, I've got ten minutes. I'm going to talk in this one about the step up race uh, format and race configuration options you have um, because it's fairly in depth and it's an explanation on what a step up race is and all that stuff. Um, this tutorial will not actually set up a step up race, we're just going to talk about it at a high level, how to set it up, what it means, what to do. Um, it's actually fairly straightforward, but it is an interesting concept that's important to understand. Um, future tutorials will um, actually set up specific race formats that involve step-up races and things like that. Um, so that's not what this tutorial is. This tutorial is just going to explain to you what a step-up race is um, and how to, how to configure it, which, um, as you can see, I'm on the Race Wizard step-up format, uh, step-up property. Um, how to configure it is as simple as clicking this checkbox on or off. Um, when you click it on, you, you get a second property, which is the number of drivers to step up. We'll, let's, we'll talk about that in a minute, but most importantly, let's talk about what a step-up race is. Um, a step-up race is a race in which the drivers start out um, sorted by their seed, where the number one seed starts at the top of the ladder. It's a, basically a ladder um, race, where the number one seed starts at the top of the ladder, and the lowest seed or, or lowest ranked driver starts at the bottom of the ladder. This is very important because what it means is that your seating when you come into the race determines the step up race um, format. And so typically step up races are used after a qualifying race event for that reason because it's not fair to randomly assign drivers into the race and then go, oh look, I got assigned the last, the, the lowest ranked position, which means I start at the bottom of the ladder. Um, so what happens is when you do a step up race and race coordinator, it assigns every driver, it assigns each heat based on ranking again, but it leaves, except for the first heat that will run, it leaves at least one open lane um, in the subsequent heats for a driver to step up into. And so what that means is that in the very first heat, the drivers will race. They'll be they'll be scored according to any of the properties you've set up in the heat setup and in the scoring methods here. And the winner of that grouping will step up into the next grouping. And it's easier to see once I set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly set one up. I'm not going to create it, but I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to use the heat view to show you exactly what that means. But um, so so that's how it works. And then in the second grouping. They, those drivers race according to your configuration and how you've set it up. The winner of that grouping moves up into the next grouping until you're in the final grouping in which that's the finals of the step-up race and the winner of that grouping is the winner of the race. Now, it's important to understand the groupings in that once you're in a grouping, if you don't win that grouping, you can only finish the race in a position such that of that grouping. So you can never... If you don't win your grouping, you can never be ranked higher overall in the overall standings than somebody not in a different group than yours, in a higher group than yours. That's the concept of a step up. Um, so again, once you understand that concept, what you're going to quickly realize is that the number one ranked driver in the race um, basically only has to run in one grouping, the final grouping, whereas the lowest ranked driver in the race will have to go through multiple groupings to get to that finals race and then possibly win the race. So he'll have a much more difficult uh, time winning the overall race starting from the lower, lower ranked positioning. Um, so let's just click on this real quick here and what you'll see is it opens up the number to step up. Typically um, step up counts will be one but race coordinator doesn't restrict you there. You can step up as many drivers as you want. You would obviously want to step up no more than um, you don't want to step up an entire lanes or an entire track. Um, however many lanes you have on the track, let's say it's a four lane track, you wouldn't want to step up four in that case. You would want to step up no more than three because you want to leave leave something for the drivers to step up into. In other words, a driver waiting for them in the next grouping. If you step up three on a four lane track, one driver will be waiting in the next grouping for those next three to step up. Um, the advantage in stepping up more than one driver is that it makes it a little easier for the lower ranked drivers to rise up the ladder. The disadvantage, it means more heats and more, more subgroups because there are more drivers that have, there are more groups, groupings that wait um, for the step up, for the, you know, in the ladder. Um, and we'll see that again in a second. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just do a typical, um, typical step up race and I'm going to only step up one. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the heat setup real quick. I don't remember where we left this off, but what I'm going to do is, well, let's actually make it so we can see it. Um, one typical way to do, uh, to do uh, step up race is to race only on a single lane. In other words, one heat in the, in the grouping, the winner of that heat advances. So that's what I've set up here. I've set up single lane, which means you only race in one lane on the track. Um, again, race coordinator is going to use all the different properties from the heat setup and the, and the, and the scoring setup and everywhere to, um, to be used uh, to determine the heat, the, the heat rotations for the step up race. The step up race is just augmenting everything else you've already set up. So in this case, we want to do a single lane race so that the drivers will only race in one lane at a time, one lane on the track for the race. Um, now let's take a look at the heat view real quick. And what you can see here is in heat one, you're going to see now the way I added these drivers in. I added them in driver one at the top, driver two, driver three, driver four. What you can't see off screen is you know drivers 11 through 19. They're all done, or through 20 rather. They're all done in order. So technically, my driver number is my seating number. I did that on purpose to make it easier to understand. And what you can see here is in the first heat, driver 19 is going to be in dri face driver 20. Now, why are there two empty lanes? Well, it's because of the number of drivers in this particular race and that it's a step-up format. In this particular, with this particular combination of setup, there's going to be two empty lanes in the first heat because that's just the number of drivers that fell out. But if I scroll down, the second heat, what you'll see, heat number two, is that 16, 17, and 18, the next three lowest ranked drivers are waiting, and there's a step-up lane. And that is because the winner of Heat 1, whether it's 19 or 20, will step up and appear in Heat 2. If you look at Heat 3, 13, 14, 15 are waiting with one step up lane. The winner from Heat 2, whether it be 16, 17, 18, or one of these two drivers, 19 or 20, will step up into Heat 3, so on and so forth, until you get to the final, final Heat, which is Heat 7 which you can see the top three ranked drivers are waiting. Um, some driver from the, from the field will step up into this position, they'll race, and it'll go, and this is the finals, and, and, and that'll be the overall standings for the race. The winner of this heat here will be the winner of the race, even if their score for the heat is lower than the score from some other heat previous, because you cannot, you cannot pass your subgroup, you, you cannot pass your ladder if you don't win your ladder. Um, one thing I want to show you, so like I said, the step up race just augments the other parameters. So to emphasize that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the configuration now to a standard round robin. Now, as you know, a standard round robin, every driver races on every single lane on the track. Well, in a step up race, that kind of gets magnified. So what happens in a step up race, we're going to come back to the heat view now, and you'll see that there are more than seven heats. In fact, there are 28. Um, in a step up race, what that means is that every ladder rung or every you know every grouping will race on every lane in the track and their total overall score that's the standing score based on how you set up the scoring setup will determine who steps up into the next round robin subgroup or ladder rung so in this case again because of the, just the number of drivers we have 19 and 20 are the only two that will race in this heat one of them will step up but if you'll notice heat 2 has 19 and 20 again on two different lanes Heat 3 has 19 and 20 again on two different lanes. Heat 4 on two different lanes. Now when you come to Heat 5, they've by the end of Heat 4, those two drivers have run on every single lane. One of them will step up into Heat 5, and the whole process will repeat again. So 6 will have the same three drivers plus that, that extra step-up driver. 7 will have the same three drivers plus that step-up driver. 8 will have the same three drivers plus that step-up driver. When you get to Heat 9, again, it's a new set of three drivers and a step up from the previous race. And it's the same thing. The finals, the finals race consists of the last four heats. In this case, it'll be 25, 26, and 27 with one driver that has stepped up. Um, so you can see, you can get really complicated in, in, in there. Uh, F1 scoring, every parameter counts in terms of how to organize, how to rank each subgrouping in every ladder rung. Um, but it's really limited. So it's really limitless what you can do with the step up races. Um, but again, the main thing to consider here is that the seating is very important, and that's why these step-up races are typically used um, in conjunction with a qualifying race as the previous race in something like a race event, because it's just not fair the way I threw these the way I threw these twenty drivers into this setup to say that driver twenty just because I put you at the bottom, you are now the lowest you know you are the lowest ranked driver and therefore have the hardest um, job getting to the top. So that's all I wanted to talk about um, with step-up races for now. We'll um, actually configure a step-up race in a later tutorial um, 
and we'll show you how it works and all that stuff. Thank you.